Yes, we're back on the Daytona today. Why? Well, this is the only bike in my garage. So why is this the only bike in my garage then? Well, don't worry, I've not done anything silly. It's not as though I've sold my 125, no. I do, I do still own the 125. I've just lent him out to a friend of mine. You see, a friend of mine, a couple of weeks back, he managed to blow the engine up on his Bandit. And that bike was his only method of transport. So that left him obviously not just without a bike, but without a method of transport. So I've said to him, why don't you borrow my 125? So at the moment, Rafiq is on a little bit of an away mission, helping out a friend. But more on his blown up engine another time. This week has seen some amazing weather. It's actually seen a return of this thing known as the sun. And the temperatures, the temperatures that we've been getting, I mean, it's about 24 degrees at the moment, but it's been so blooming hot that when I went to paint and bike night the other night, I didn't wear my full gear. And that is a rarity for me. I'm not the kind of person not to wear my full gear, despite current appearances, which we'll get onto in a minute. But I'm not one for going out without my full gear. But it was just so bloody hot that I actually went out in jeans and boots instead of full gear. And then the next day, I went to Jolly's bike night, which is much further away, it's about 15 miles and I decided I'm going to go back to full gear. It was still just as hot, it was about 22 degrees, and I went full gear, and it was too much. And this lovely hot weather has got me thinking about those bikers that we see riding around wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Let's be honest, we've all seen them, we know they exist, and I always condemn them. But it did get me wondering, what's the attraction to this whole riding a bike in jeans and t-shirt. So right now, yes, I am wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I don't have my boots, I don't have my motorbike jacket, I don't even have my gloves. In fact, the only protective gear that I'm wearing is of course the obligatory helmet. And I'm not the kind of person to go out in jeans and t-shirt. This is, in fact, this is this is the very first time I have ever ridden a motorbike wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So what do I think about it? Well, I don't want to glamorise the non-use of protective gear. We have the protective gear for a reason and for the most part I'm always going to wear it. But I will say this, as a person who is riding a motorbike in jeans and t-shirt for the very first time, it does feel good. I, I'm not going to lie, I've got to be honest on this one, it does feel bloody good. Well, that's lunch sorted out anyway. Now, back to this business of riding motorbikes in jeans and t-shirt. So what do I really think of it? Well, as I say, there's something, it does feel good, there's something about it. It definitely feels good being out on the bike without all that extra gear. It's like an, another level of freedom and it does feel good and I'm trying trying to enjoy it emphasis on the trying and we'll get on to that in a minute let's look first of all at the pros because there's pros and cons of most things like i say as someone riding in jeans and t-shirt for the very first time yeah it does feel bloody good 
I don't want to I don't want to glamorize it because I still part of me still wishes to have my own gear but the pros of riding in jeans and t-shirts it feels bloody amazing there's like I say different level of freedom that seems to be with me today and then there's well there's the heat and I'm going to try and say this without making it sound like I'm just clutching at straws here it is so bloody hot at the minute that with full gear you could your body could be overheating you could potentially pass out so it wouldn't surprise me right now today this week maybe next week if a lot of bikers are starting to maybe not wear full gear even people like myself who do want to wear the full gear because it is just too hot for it and then there's the cons of not riding in full gear first of all you've got well you've got your footwear if you're not wearing some sort of motorbike boot you are going to have laces and today I've tucked mine in on the outside but laces and motorbikes in my opinion it's not a good combination and then of course there's safety no matter what you say if you're riding without full gear you are compromising your safety it doesn't matter that you're maybe only doing 30 mile an hour on a, a 125 or even a moped I mean today I haven't done more than 40 on my Daytona but you're not in full gear you are compromising your safety I have friends and family who if they found out that I was out on my bike particularly my big bike without my full gear they wouldn't be they wouldn't be too happy about it they worry about me and so I would say for your own safety and for the peace of mind of your loved ones wherever possible wear your full gear so is there an answer as to whether you should or shouldn't wear your full motorbike gear well the way I see it is you've got three options they're all a little bit of a compromise number one you wear full gear and you deal with the sweating the uncomfortable sweating and at times you may not be focusing on your ride because you're preoccupied with your own level of discomfort not ideal number two you wear as much or as little gear as you want and that will compromise your safety again not ideal and number three maybe maybe just get some elbow pads some knee pads maybe pair those with some motorbike boots and and gloves and then you may get away with your jeans and t-shirt ride again it's it's a compromise it's not ideal but your main your main contact points will be protected at least I don't know I'll let you decide what's right for you for me as good as it feels riding in jeans and t-shirt there is also a level of anxiety that I'm unaccustomed to and that anxiety is naturally because I am compromising my safety and that anxiety crept in not just when I went out for a ride but when I was getting ready in fact even before that the mere thought of going out without my full gear caused me a significant level of anxiety so I am likely to look into this business of elbow pads and knee pads and see if I can come up with a compromise for those times when it is just this bloody hot